Josh here with Fast Fuel Systems. Today we're going to be installing one of our Titanium Signature Series systems on this Peterbilt behind me that's got a Packard MX-13 engine. Now, just a reminder to select the proper system for your Class 8 semi or pickup truck, be sure to log on to our website, fastride.com, and use our product finder. Let's go ahead and get this installation started. On this application, we're going to be doing the install a little bit different, but we wanted to show you guys a cool little trick. So this fuel tank is not equipped with any extra NPT ports. We do offer a fuel line kit for fuel tanks of this design, but again, we're going to show you a cool little trick. So what we're going to do, we already have a pilot hole drilled on the top of the fuel tank here in this thicker portion. So we're going to be taking our larger drill bit what you're going to want to do, go ahead and load this up with grease, this drill bit here. And what that does, that's going to catch any metal shavings that will try to enter the fuel tank there. And since we can't get a cup underneath the uh, drilling area, you're fairly limited um, as far as trying to catch all the metal shavings. So again, that grease works really well. And if you do happen to get a small amount of metal shavings in your fuel tank, the particulate filter on the FAST system will trap any shaving or any bit of that debris, so you're not going to have to worry about any, any sort of contamination from drilling the tank here. All right, so you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that drill bit in here. I'll take my blow nozzle, make sure I blow all those metal shavings away from that drill area. Once you've got that done, go ahead and remove your drill bit. I'm gonna take my half inch NPT tap, go ahead and load that up with some grease as well. All right, now that we have our hole drilled and tapped in the fuel tank, we're going to take one of our fast return line fittings from our fast return line kit, which is half inch NPT by 5 eighths compression fitting. And it makes it easier if you remove the compression nut off the top of the fitting. Go ahead and install that in the fuel tank. Tighten it up. All right, pretty easy. Now that whole process of drilling and tapping the fuel tank and installing that fitting, it's really extremely straightforward and it's not very time consuming. Honestly, it really only takes about five to 10 minutes per fuel tank. 